Hello, let's do the New York Times hard Sudoku for September 29th, 2023. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, we have these two sevens looking into this box. And so seven goes somewhere up here. Um, this four looks into this box. So there's a four in one of these two. Hmm. I'm noticing these two eights look up, so we might as well do something with that. This eight looks over. There's an eight here. Hmm. I'm not seeing a whole lot to do here. Top band, at least. It's because this is empty. Um, are there any crossings? Yes, there is. Okay, so... Um, this is how you can look for crossings pretty quickly, at uh, least useful ones. Um, so if you have two givens that share a row or a column, in this case they share a row. So in the case where they share a row, there's going to be one column that they don't occupy, right? So you want to look at that column they don't occupy. And you want to look for any givens in that column that aren't already in the box. And so in this case, both 9 and 5 aren't already in the box. So that's already a, a good sign. And then what you do is, yeah, remember we're looking at these two here, we're focusing on these two. So you want to look at the two rows that they don't occupy, and you want to look to see if there's any nines or fives there. So in this case, there's no five, but there is a nine. So then you just have to look at what those nines do to the box. They look into the box like this, and of course, conveniently, <laughs> the one and six that we, by design, um, are not hit by those nines also occupy two cells. And so nine is limited to one of these two. And that's going to point. That means that none of these can be 9. Because if any of these were 9, then there'd be nowhere to put 9 in this box. And so these are not 9. So 9 goes up here with the 7s. Um, so neither of these can be 9 or 7. And I'm seeing that this column does need a 9 and a 7. So I'm curious what these can be. I'm also seeing this can't be 4, so this might be helpful. So let's just fill this out. So the column has a 1 already. It needs a 2. It has a 3. It needs a 4, which can only go there. I mean, only within these two cells, it can only go there. Um, we need a 5. We have 6. They, neither of them can be 7. We have 8, and neither of them can be 9. So these are almost a pair. Um, darn, OK. Yeah, without the four, or maybe there's another two, five, four somewhere. It doesn't seem like there would be, but um, then we'd have a pair. Okay, well, I think that's still a good mark. That's a good. Uh, it's good to bake in like important pointing deductions, at least for me, because I tend to uh, fail to scan them later when you have a bunch of corner marks in the grid. Um, this three is looking up. Puts a three here. Let's mark that. Oops, corner mark that. Um, anything like that over here? Yeah, this five looks up. So there's a five over here. Um, you know what's interesting? Whatever this 2, 5 ends up being, it looks in here, because I was seeing it if there was something along with the 4, right? It's this one. This one along with the 4 uh, points into here and joins the 4. So this digit, the 4, and this digit have to go in this box somewhere. So where can they go? Well, they can't share a row with themselves. Whatever the two five ends up, can't share a row with it. And they are not one, they are not six, they are not seven, they are not eight. So we can actually mark these two cells as two, four, five. And that's really interesting because this top cell here cannot be two or five. Wow, that's cool. Um, and so this two, oh yeah, so this two five needs to go in this box somewhere. And then this, this two five sees this cell, which is the only other place it could have been. So this is the two five. Oops, let me fill that correctly. These two are the same digit. And then this is a four. OK, so then this one goes in one of these two. It's either a two going here or a five going here. So we don't know exactly how that works yet, but this four is nice. Um, so that puts a four down here somewhere. Hmm. I just find that interesting with this two, five, almost pair thing. Two, four, five, and then the four could be here. Hmm. Okay. So this is neat. So then these are what are the digits that are unique to here then? Because we we have the one, two, we need a three. So the three goes here. 
uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's just three and nine along with the two five. So this is this is only three nine. Oops, no, wait, this can't be five or nine. Hold on. Oh no, sorry, it's two, it's two three. That's what it is. It's two three. Okay. I got a little bit confused, but we, we got there. Um and then these are two, three, five, nine, and I don't think anything sees them, so I don't really want to mark that yet. Um, oh no, I two, three, five, nine. I do want to mark it. Look at this. Two, three, five, nine. We have our yeah, I should have seen that. Because this goes here, this was gonna form a quad. This is this is a quad, and therefore this is a quad. We have a two, three, five, nine quad here. So this can't be five, and the remaining digits are whatever's missing for the row. So we need a one. We have the two, three, four, five. We need a six, and then we need an eight. We can clean that up a little bit. That's interesting. So we have this one, six, eight, triple, and then this two, three, five, nine quad. Um, hmm. And of course, there are other ways to see all these things, but the way that you see it is the way you see it. And that's how I saw it. <laughs> I know, very eloquent from me there. Um, oh, I noticed this crossing here. I was I was moving on, and I immediately noticed a crossing. And in fact, that gives us the four. So that's a four. Probably could have just seen these two fours match up. But anyway, we got this four. Let's look at fours. Um, So we need a four here. Oh, we need a four exactly here. Oh, there that's the four we needed, isn't it? So now there's a four here. And then there should be one more four, which goes here, and that's all our fours. Nice. So now this isn't a four. We have a two five pair. That's a two five pair. So that's not a five. So now in this box, five goes here. Okay, this is going well. I I haven't even finished I've barely done any scanning. This is just like <laughs> this top band just keeps giving giving me gifts. Um, so what do we need here? We need one, we need three, and six. Okay, what can we do with that? Hmm. Um, I feel like I should be seeing something, but maybe not. One, three, six. Wow, we're, we're eight minutes, almost eight. We're seven and a half minutes into the puzzle. That's interesting. What's this? Um, one, three, six, eight can't be one. So it's three, six, eight. Oh, it can't be six either. Yeah, it can't be one or six. Okay, how about these two? These are seven, nine. Hmm, it's not done either. Okay, um, why don't we scan the next band? <laughs> that seems like it might be fruitful. Uh, I don't think I've ever spent so much time on, on a single, well, that would have been helpful to know that there's a three here. That's okay, we're, we're, it doesn't actually help a whole lot um, right now. What are these three? I feel like I'm doing more of a hybrid approach today than my normal scanning. Um, so this is five, seven, eight. That's not five, that's not eight. So the eight's over here for this box. The row claims it. Oh yeah, these two eights we're looking in anyway. Um, okay, so I was thinking about how the eights can't be here for this column. And I noticed we also need this three six. So this is this is kind of our standard New York Times geometry trick with a little twist that it's because the the because of these two eights instead of there actually being an eight in the box. So what am I talking about? Well, this column needs three, six, and eight. Where are they going to go? Well, they just happen to not be able to go in those two because they see the three, six, and one of these eights, um, or the corner mark eights if you prefer. Two, seven, five, and four are not three, six, or eight, and so now there's only three cells left for three, six, eight. So that can't be a one, and then this is only three, six, eight. And then these two are gonna be a pair. Um, looks like one and nine. So this is five and seven only. This can't be eight. Okay. Four left for this row, let's think about it at least. We need one, two, seven, nine. One, two, seven, nine. 
I am going to mark that actually. Because it, it cleans up. Um, But the rest of this box, we need two, five, seven, nine. I'm just going to start marking up a bit more. Okay. Um, and then this is what? One, two, six, seven. Oh, that one, two, seven means there's a six here. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I could have found a crossing or something for that six. Anyway, uh, so the ones in one of these two, I don't think that helps. Interesting. Okay, I think I'm gonna move on at this point to the next band. Um, kind of in a strange situation now. Is there anything to do in this band? Um, maybe not. We have the fours. Eight is interesting, but it's because of the vertical. So there's an eight in one of these two. In fact, this whole thing is two, three, oh, one, two, three, eight. Which, let's just mark that up. I might be doing too much marking, but I don't know. It feels right for this puzzle. Because I feel, I'm feeling almost done. When I feel almost done, I mark more in the hopes of just finishing the puzzle. <laughs> um, all right, let's look vertically here. What did we miss? So we have two twos to looking down this two in. So there's a two here. Um, I guess the five is in one of these two. These can't be five. One's in one of these two, that looks down. So one's over here. So this can't be one, two, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's only seven, eight, nine. Interesting. It sees these pointing ones here. And then two, three, four, five, six. I'm still missing something. Okay. Uh, anything else vertical to do? Six nine two six nine. I'm interested in this two six nine looking down because the box doesn't have those. So what can? What, let's just fill what these can be. They can be one. They can't be two. They could be three. They can't be four five six. They could be seven eight. That's all we get. Hmm. I guess I can't do anything with that, can I? All right, let's 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 finish vertical scanning, like the obvious stuff, and then let's, um, I guess, keep penciling, unless I find something amazing. Oh, OK. I'm trying to find things. <laughs> um, OK, sixes look up. Ah, there we go. So we have a hidden six in this box. Is that helpful? Um, yeah, uh, is it? Well, we got a six in one of these two. Okay, so we got sixes here. Maybe yeah, the yeah was premature. Ah, we have a six here, so that's a six. Six is there. Ah, oh, that's not a six anymore. So these sixes look in. There we go. That places this six and this two. Okay, so it was the six that was missing. Okay. This all resolves. This is a seven nine. We get the three and the six. We get the seven five eight five. This eight. That's a nine. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Now it's collapsing, and all of our pencil marks are helping us finish this faster. Uh, we get this one three seven triple. These these aren't fives anymore. Um. Okay. Take a step back. What do we want to mark? Two, two, five, seven, nine. This can't be two or nine, so this is five, seven only. This this is a seven, nine pair, so this is a pair. This is a one, three pair. Huh. 
So that's a 1-3 pair. So that's 7 and 9. Very nice. Oh, look at all these 1-3s. <laughs> okay. So this is a pair, obviously. Um, 5 and 7 go here. We know the order. Oops, I misclicked. That's 5, that's 7. 2, 1, 7, 9, 2, 5, 9, 2, 5. Okay. Interesting puzzle. Um, I don't think it was trivial um, at all. I did it, I guess I did it in my normal amount of time, but I didn't do my normal scanning behavior. And I think that helped actually in this case. Um, I don't know, let me know how, how you approach this. I think seeing that this, this digit ended up here was extremely helpful. It let us place this four. Maybe there's a, just a cleaner way to see that, but the way I saw it was pretty fun, so I don't mind at all. Um, we need three and nine here, and we're done. Cool. Yeah, I, I really liked this thing. So we had the the four had to be in one of these two from that four, and then this, I think it was five or, it wasn't five or seven. It must have been two or five, yeah. The two or five that ended up here, in this case it ended up a five, had to go there because th this two five saw this. That That's a pretty cool little piece of geometry there. Um, there's going to be some other way to see that, but I don't know that it would be trivial. Um, cool. And then we had, yeah, we had the, the three, six, eight. Probably had I penciled these, these would have just been a one nine uh, naked pair. So that's probably how most people saw that <laughs> instead of like looking at this, the eight corner marks here and the three, the three, six here and seeing that they go there. That's my way of seeing that. Um, what else was interesting? We got this two, five pair um, after placing fours, which um, it gave us like this two, five pair, which then saw here. So we ended up with like two, two, five pairs or something. I don't remember exactly how that ended up, but that was neat as well. Cool. I enjoyed this puzzle. I think this was neat. It was a little bit different than we've had recently. Uh, let me know how you did on it. And of course, if uh, you enjoyed this content, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.